Hi, this video is going to cover arteries of the thorax. So often when I start drawing arteries coming away from the heart, I will draw the heart. But actually if I draw the heart this time, it's going to obscure the view of a lot of the arteries that we want to talk about. So we're going to start by just drawing kind of in the middle of nowhere, the arch of the aorta, which we know is going to descend, become um, thoracic aorta or descending aorta until the point that it hits the diaphragm. So we'll put the diaphragm in down here. Okay. And we know that this is going to continue until it passes through the diaphragm, but we'll stop it there. So we're very familiar with what happens off the arch of the aorta. We have one, two, three branches in a typical um, sort of textbook presentation of this kind of anatomy. We know that that first branch, the brachiocephalic trunk, is going to divide again. And this gives us symmetry, right? So we end up with two common carotid arteries heading up towards the head and neck and two subclavian arteries that are heading out towards the upper limbs. Now, off of the subclavian arteries, we have arteries that are going to pass anteriorly and they run just down, the, um, just down the posterior surface of the anterior thoracic wall. So just deep to our anterior ribs here, we have these uh, internal thoracic arteries. We'll draw those on both sides. And those are important. They're also going to give rise to arteries that turn and run backwards within the intercostal spaces. I'm just gonna draw uh, the origins of them, but they would run further and around the ribs. These are the anterior intercostal arteries. So you have those on both sides. And you know that I always say in class, if you, I show you that you have anterior intercostal arteries, you would already be thinking that you must have posterior, and so where do those come from? Well, they are branches directly off of the descending or thoracic aorta. So we can draw those here. Imagine that they are wrapping on either side, again, running in the intercostal spaces between the ribs. And eventually, if we could draw this more three-dimensional, we know that the anterior intercostal arteries and the posterior intercostal arteries would actually have an anastomosis. So those are the arteries that run in the ribs and sort of where they come from. I'm, I'm going to change colors now just to show, um, to highlight some other arteries that show up here. So we're going to have a pair of arteries coming off around here-ish off the thoracic aorta. Uh, and these are what we call bronchial arteries. Bronchial arteries are the arteries that go to the lungs and supply the lungs with its own source of oxygen and nutrient rich blood. So they're very important. We also have arteries at the very bottom here that we call superior phrenic arteries. And we know that word phrenic is always associated with the diaphragm, so they run across and supply the top surface of the diaphragm. Again, if you're thinking ahead to say, if these are superior phrenic arteries, then we must also have inferior phrenic arteries. And we do, but they are branches off of the abdominal aorta. They come from underneath. And one last thing I'll point out is that in this set of intercostal arteries, when you get to the 12th pair or the pair that sit just below rib 12, those always get referred to as subcostal arteries as opposed to intercostal because they're no longer between two, but they're below the last pair of ribs.